For decades, Hollywood has derived blockbuster drama from natural disasters, both real and imagined. From the all-star disaster movie classics of the 70s through the effects-driven spectacles of more recent decades. There's nothing quite like the thrill of watching things go horribly awry, from the comfort of your couch or local cineplex. In the interest of saving you some time, since, as these films remind us, the clock is indeed ticking for us all, here's a look at some disaster films that simply can't be missed. The Poseidon Adventure 2006's Poseidon was a regrettable remake of 1972's The Poseidon Adventure and should be ignored at all costs. However, the original about a group of luxury liner passengers trapped in an upside-down vessel that's slowly but surely sinking is well worth wading through. Anchored by Gene Hackman and Shelley Winters, the film presents a gripping look at what might happen to a group of well-off vacationers when a tidal wave capsizes their ship and leaves them scrambling for escape from a watery grave. Special effects have obviously evolved since then, but the patient pace and fully realized characters are increasingly rare among the modern crop of blockbuster action movies. I started to believe in your promises that we had a chance! The Towering Inferno Starring Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, Faye Dunaway, and Fred Astaire, The Towering Inferno was star-studded to say the least. The film centers on the blazing drama that spreads after the world's tallest building, the Glass Tower, goes up in flames after an electrical circuit goes haywire during the tower's dedication ceremony. The blaze leaves entire families trapped dozens of stories above the ground. And beneath the obvious appeal of the towering Inferno survival story is a cutting commentary on corporate greed and the true cost of the bottom line. Alive Inspired by a real-life Uruguayan rugby team who were stranded in the snow-capped Andes Mountains after their small plane crashed, Alive is a chillingly raw depiction of the group's efforts to survive the accident and the cruel climate where they were stranded. Based on Piers Paul Reed's written account, the movie spares no bitter details about what these athletes had to do to crawl through each day until rescue arrived. From the drawn-out suffering of gangrene and frostbite to their desperate decision to nourish themselves on the flesh of the fallen, the fact that it's based on a true story makes the cinematic experience that much more unsettling. Outbreak at a time when the spread of communicable diseases was a growing social concern, thanks in large part to the uncertainty surrounding AIDS, Wolfgang Peterson's outbreak capitalized on those fears spectacularly. Damn it, Sam, I want to save these people same as you. Thanks to its deadly virus going airborne and remaining undetectable until symptoms started presenting in infected patients, outbreak made everyone a potential threat and to showcase the societal collapse and the militaristic governmental oppression that could so easily unfold in the wake of such a threat. It wasn't the first or last film to explore such a viral phenomenon, but the climate of the film's release, combined with the breadth of its fictional disease's impact, made it a must-see. Daylight The brawny action prowess of Sylvester Stallone in his prime and Rob Cohen's Daylight offered a spectacular foundation for Sly the Savior at his best. Stallone starred as a former EMS medic who puts himself in harm's way to help those who became trapped in New York's Holland Tunnel after a group of diamond thieves crash into a chemical waste truck, triggering an explosion. It all adds up to an action-packed race against time, and the Hudson River set in an eerie darkness. Twister this pick might be best remembered for its giant storms and special effects, but Twister's superior acting and emotional subplots are what made the movie such a standout. Sure, the dialogue can get a little silly, But for the most part, Twister does a terrific job of balancing human drama, like a dissolving marriage and a character's childhood trauma, against the effects-driven chaos audiences demand from a film about tornado chasers. It's still very easy to be swept up in, even decades later. Dante's Peak Audiences had their pick of magma movies in 1997, with Dante's Peak and Volcano both erupting in quick succession at theaters. But whereas Volcano threatened the entire metropolitan area of Los Angeles, Dante's Peak benefited from a narrower focus, zooming in on a small town and letting viewers get to know and care about its characters. Additionally, Peak's hero relied on his scientific expertise, rather than sheer bravado. And while Volcano leans heavily on ordinary action movie conventions to carry the plot along, Dante's Peak offers some unsettling creative scenes of chaos that still hold up even now. Deep Impact 
Mimi Leader's deep impact was miles above Michael Bay's Armageddon. Rather than relying on a ridiculous action thriller fantasy of sending cowboy oil drillers into space, you know, instead of actual astronauts, Deep Impact actually relied on the expertise of scientists, and it shows. More importantly, the movie wasn't just about showcasing the heroism of a few astronauts, but focused on the scattered impact and personal sacrifices that could result from impending doom in various parts of the world. There are still some efforts to thwart the rock from colliding with Earth of course, but the most memorable moments are grounded in the smaller scale drama that holds the sci-fi action together. The Wave Plenty of disaster movies have used avalanches or tsunamis to fuel the action, but Raw Uthog's The Wave stands out due to its stunning cinematography and its main character's intensely affecting arc. Nothing about the movie is particularly groundbreaking, but its obedience to formula is easy to forgive thanks to Uthog's visual style and a screenplay that's driven as much by its relatable characters as it is by the titular catastrophe. The Impossible the Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004 cost hundreds of thousands of human lives, and leveled coastlines in over a dozen countries. Any movie that dared to dramatize this real-life disaster would have to deal with the story sensitively. And J.A. Bayona's The Impossible did just that. The film waded through the endless misery of the story to find a glimmering, albeit somewhat controversial, piece of hope in the Bellon family, who defied the odds and managed to survive the storm. As with all the best disaster movies, the viewing experience can be grueling, but it pays inspiring dividends. And as a bonus, check out The Young Spider-Man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.